lost your voice and couldn't communicate effectively what you wanted or needed to let someone know. Well, the same goes for your vote. It is your voice and you need to speak up and be heard. Well, welcome to our next edition of Government to the People. We have with us today, Kim Rao. She is the clerk to the council, but today she's here to fill you in on a big event that's coming up, the City of Laurel Elections. Thanks for coming on, Kim. You're welcome, thank you for having me. Well, we're here today in the council chambers of the Laurel Municipal Center, which is one of the polling locations. So go ahead and tell us when is when are, I should say, let's be correct, when are the elections for the City of Laurel? The upcoming City of Laurel general election will be on Tuesday, November the 7th. Mm -hmm. We will have early voting on Saturday, November the 4th. Oh, nice. So what does it entail for the early voting? Early voting, the uh, both wards, Ward 1 and Ward 2, will be voting here at the Laurel, Laurel Municipal Center. Okay. And there will be a machine uh, set up for each ward. Mm -hmm. So the... Uh, early voting poll will be open from 8 a.m. until 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, and it's just the one day, November 4th. That's correct. Okay, now if they want to vote, if our residents want to vote in this election, they have to be registered. They just can't just show up, correct? That, that's correct. You must be a registered voter with Prince George's County okay. in order to and reside within the city limits of Laurel to vote in our elections. And the deadline for that is, or by the time this taping is done, uh, what would, uh, would have been October 10th, That's correct? correct. Okay, That's so correct. hopefully um, you all got registered and you'll be able to vote in this election, but if not, um, give Kim a call. I'm sure she can answer any questions you have and you can reach her at 301-725-5300, extension 2121. Correct. If somebody's not certain if mm -hmm. they're registered or not, just have them give me a call and we can check the voter registration list. There you go, right from the horse's mouth. Thank you. Um, now let's get, okay, so we know that it's November 7th. Who are the candidates in this year's election? And it's only for the council this year, That's correct? That's correct. All councils, all five council seats are open up for re-election mm -hmm. this uh, November. The Board of Election Supervisors met on Monday, October the 2nd, and set the official ballot. So the certified candidates for this election are um, at large. We have Michael Lez and Jeffrey Mills. Mm -hmm. Our residents will vote for one of those two gentlemen. From Ward 1, we have Ed Ricks, Valerie Nicholas, and Carl DeWalt. Our residents will vote for two from those uh, three people. And then from Ward 2, we have Fred Smalls, Keith Sidnor, Thomas Matthews, and Adrian Russo our residents will vote for two of those four people. And residents will vote um, for the people that are, are representing their ward. Okay. So if you live in Ward 1, you will only vote for an at-large candidate and the Ward 1 people. So it would be Carl DeWalt, Valerie Nicholas, or Eddie, Eddie Ricks, correct. H. Edward Ricks. That's okay. correct. All right, and if you will live in Ward 2, again, it would be the Ward 2 candidates along with the at-large candidates. That's correct. So you cannot, if you live in 2, you cannot vote for Ward 1. That's correct. Okay. Um, wh so where are the polling locations at? The polling locations are for Ward 1 here at the Laurel Municipal Center. The polls open at 7 a.m. and will close at 8 p.m. The Ward 2 voting location is the Robert J. DiPietro Community Center, mm -hmm. which is on Cypress Street, 7901 Cypress Street. Um, over in Ward 2. Okay, and what machines will they be using this year to vote? Again, this year we are going to be using the direct recording electronic voting system. Mm -hmm. We've used these uh, machines for the past um, several elections, and we've been very happy with the uh, performance of the machines. Well, this is great. This just so happens, since we have used these machines in the past, oh, excuse me, <laughs> since we've used these machines in the past, Laurel TV did a demonstration with, I believe it was Bill Welford, um, that showing, he was giving a demonstration of how these machines work. So if we could, let's go ahead and we'll roll that video so that our residents can get an idea of of how the electronic 1242s will help them cast their vote in the city of Laurel elections. Let's go ahead and roll that. Hello, my name is Bill Welford. I'm with the, the Laurel Board of Elections for the city of Laurel. I'm the chief judge for Ward 1. The Municipal Center is open today for you to come and see the, the machines that will be used uh, this Saturday and on Tuesday for the 
election of uh, mayor and city council. These machines were brought here today by the Electech company, and they've been set up for demonstration today from 12 until 4 o'clock. So I'm here now to just give you a little run through of how this machine works. The first thing when a voter approaches the machine, it'll be turned on by a poll worker. And as you can see, the machine will then come on and light up. For today's purpose, there's no curtains here, but on election day, when you use the machine, there'll be a curtain that goes around to give you some privacy inside. Um, you will have some choices here uh, for the uh, election, at which time all you do is press the X next to the name of your choice, simply by touching the X. It'll light when you've made that choice. Just follow the instructions on the card. This is not the, the actual card that'll be on here on election day. This is from 2013, so there are some, some old names on here that, uh, that is just for demonstration purposes today. Um, after you've made your choices, you can, again, just do that by pressing the X. If you change your mind and you want to make a different choice, you can press that X again and the light goes off, allowing you to reselect your candidate. So once you have pressed the X and you're satisfied with your choices, you can press the button right here, the green vote button. Now your choices have been made and they cannot be changed. Your voting is complete. So for the next, uh, between each voter, the machine will be turned back on again. And there's one other part uh, that I'd like to explain. If you have a write-in candidate, you're, you don't want any of the candidates that are named on the board here and you would like to write in your very own candidate, that option is right here at the bottom. You can press that X next to write in. At that time, this button here will flash red. You can press that, and that little door will open. Each booth will have a pen attached right here where you can, on this little paper, write in your choice, and then close the door, and then hit the vote button. Now your selection, your write-in selection, is complete and cannot be changed. If at any time you need help or you have a question while you're voting, there will be several judges here that will be on hand that you can simply uh, ask for any kind of information that you might need to help. Um, today, Saturday, I mean today, Thursday, um, from 12 to 4, starting now until 4 o'clock this evening, this will be open for anyone to come in and see this machine. Um, you can touch it, try it, uh, go through the motions of uh, how to vote, and like I say, that's for the next four hours that'll be happening. The uh, people from the Electech company are also here to help with any questions. On Saturday, October the 31st, from 8 to 5, that is the early voting day, where you can come in here at 8103 Sandy Spring Road, the Laurel Municipal Center, and you can vote at that time. This will be for Ward 1 and Ward 2. Um, on, only on Saturday is Ward 1 and Ward 2 located here at 8103 Sandy Spring Road, the Laurel Municipal Center. On Tuesday, the uh, actual election day, this will be for Ward 1 and Ward 2 will be at the Robert J. DePetro Center, 
located at 7901 Cypress Street. That is for Ward 2, Ward 2 only, at the Robert J. DePietro Center. So just quickly, I'd like to repeat that. On Saturday, October the 31st, from 8 to 5, that is for early voting. For people that cannot vote on Tuesday and would like to come out Saturday and vote, 8 to 5, here at 8103 Sandy Spring Road, the Laurel Municipal Center. And again, that's for both wards. Ward 1 and Ward 2 is located here on Saturday. Tuesday, November the 3rd, is the actual election day. That is from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. And that's the day the wards' polls are split. Ward 1 is here at Laurel Municipal Center, 8103 Sandy Spring Road. Ward 2 is at the Robert J. DePietro Center, 7901 Cypress Street. Again, that's from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Um, this demonstration can be seen on Laurel TV all through this weekend. It'll be aired over and over. For Verizon, that is on channel 12. And if you have Comcast, that's on channel 71. You can watch it all through the weekend, right on through till election day. So thank you for watching. Please come out today, um, starting now until 4 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me. Please come out. See how these machines work. And um, please come out on Saturday for early voting, and especially please come out on Tuesday because um, this is a real important uh, time for everyone. So hope to see you. Thanks. Well, welcome back to Government to the People. I hope you all gained a lot of information from that demo that Laurel TV uh, videotaped. I think it was last year. But you also have some information um, that if they want to see it in person, they are going to be doing demos here at City Hall. That's correct. We have a public demonstration on these machines scheduled for Thursday, November the 2nd, mm -hmm. right here in the council chambers from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. So it'll be like a week before the actual election. Yes, it is. Okay. And what about for judges? Is there any training going on for judges? There are. There is. Do you have a need for judges is the other thing? We actually have um, all of the judges that we need. That's right good now. to hear. We Very have good. several returning from the last election and several new ones as well good so we will be doing a judges training and um, the mayor will swear them in on Thursday November the 2nd at 4 o'clock p.m. so they'll be having their orientation they will have a hands-on demonstration of mm -hmm. the machines and mayor Mo will be swearing them into office oh fantastic so mark your dates mark your calendars November 2nd they will be do doing demos right here at City Hall and also keep Keep an eye out. City of Laurel will always post different information going on on our social media. So that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We'll make sure it gets out there so that you stay aware of what we've got going on for this election. Thank you. Um, absentee ballots. Now, if they don't want to do the early voting, if they know they're going to be out of town around this time, there's another way that they can cast their vote. Yes, there is. Absentee ballots are available to all of our residents, whether you... Um, are going to be out of town or not you don't have to have a reason to request oh that's an good okay ballot. if somebody just wants to vote early they can apply for an absentee ballot application the applications are available online mm -hmm. to download and they're also available we can mail them to you if you call the office of the a clerk to the board of election supervisors once we receive that application we verify their registration before, uh, of course, before the absentee ballot is mailed out. Okay. The list of absentee voters is public information mm -hmm. and is usually requested by the candidates during the election. Okay. Sometimes can, uh, people who vote absentee are a little taken back that their names have been released, but that information is public, so we do release that information. So be aware, if you do cast an absentee ballot, yes. that is part of public information. Okay, good to know. Okay, so we've got the voting on November 7th, 8 a.m. to um, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's November 7th. Ward 1 is here. Correct. Ward 2 is Robert J. DiPietro Community Center. Correct. So after the votes are cast, I will say tune in um, probably shortly after the uh, polls close at 8 p.m. Laurel TV will cover live coverage of the 
of the reading of the results. What happens at the end of the election day, the chief judges from each of the polling location, they close out the machine, mm -hmm. and with the assistance of the election day judges, the chief judge will um, take the cartridge from the election machine mm -hmm. and will be transported here to the municipal center. Each of the chief judges will be here. The election machine technician will take the cartridges, and then he has a machine that he will um, use those cartridges, and then they combine the results. Mm -hmm. So the results of the voting machines will be announced that night okay. by the Board of Election Supervisors. The Board of Election meets again on Wednesday at 5 p.m., and that's when they'll count the paper ballots, mm -hmm. the absentee ballots, and the provisional ballots. Okay. And then that night they will announce the final to tally. And then the mayor and city council will hold a special meeting to certify the they, returns? That's correct. They meet on Thursday at, at 7 p.m., and that's when they accept the official results from the Board of Election Supervisors. And that would be November 9th. And then um, when do the new candidates get sworn in? The newly elected, uh, well, I shouldn't say candidates, the newly elected council members. The newly elected council members will be sworn into office on Monday, November the 13th at 7 p.m. Okay. That's when the current council members will adjourn sine die, and the newly elected will be sworn in and hold their first meeting. Love that sine die. <laughs> I love just saying it. <laughs> All right, um, is, I mean, is there anything else? If anybody has any questions about whether or not they're registered to vote, um, if they want to apply for an absentee ballot, if they have any questions about the election process, please feel free to call my office. Okay. And, um, and what number can they reach you they at? They can reach us at 301-725-5300, extension 2121. Good. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out. I know it's a really busy time for you, but I, we want to make sure that the residents have all the information that they can right at their fingertips. We do, and thank you very much for doing this. Oh, our pleasure. Well, again, thanks for taking the time out, for coming in. And uh, remember, it's not only a privilege, but it is also a right that we have as Americans to vote. So come out on November 7th and cast your vote for your council representatives. You've got to speak up. If not, what... What else? I mean, what else can you say? You don't speak up. Don't I just just come out. <laughs> That's all I could say is come out and vote. It's your privilege, your right. Well, that's it for this edition of Government to the People. Remember, as I said earlier, keep an eye on our city's social media for upcoming information and updates on what's going on with the elections as well as anything else going on in the city. But also be sure to follow Laurel TV on Facebook. And if you have a story idea, please give us a call at 240-294-1307. And subscribe to Laurel TV's YouTube channel, Laurel TV Official, where you can watch this program and much more all in their entirety. Until next time, I'm Karen Kobeck. See you around town.